You're listening to the AfterBuzz TV Network. Now the largest new media platform on the web and your number one source for after-show entertainment. Very good, Gene. Johnson. After The After Buzz Studios in Los Angeles, California. Presented by Maria Menunos and streaming live thanks to Akamai Technologies. This is After Buzz TV's Love and Hip Hop After Show. We'll break down tonight's episode and get you all the latest news and gossip. And now, another post game wrap up show for your favorite TV show. It's After Buzz TV's Love and Hip Hop After Show. Mimi. Carly, <laughs> Don. <laughs> Cheers, to all the thirsty bitches out there. What up, After Buzz? It's your boy DJ Jesse Jane here at the After Buzz TV Studios for the Love and Hip Hop Season Three After Show. I'm joined in studio by the lovely Cornelia Stradwick. Hey, what's up, everybody? The luminous Nicolette Gauna. Hey. And the crazy ass motherfucking Stefan, motherfucking Wallace. <laughs> yeah. He's on some soda tonight, y'all. Why you mad? I'm popping this Coke. Okay. <laughs> Coca Cola. Coca Cola. Coca Cola. Pop a Coke and I'm hydrated. Woo! <laughs> um, bitches was mad tonight. Mm. Yeah, and getting red. But what? <laughs> like legit. Yeah. Red for filth. Uh, but before we get to that, what do we want to talk about first? Let's talk about Rashida and Kirk and just get them out the damn motherfucking way. Mm-hmm. Well, Rashida. Now, yeah. It's feeling like, well, he's going to just be mad at what I do. He don't give a fuck. Girl, first of all, we don't even care about your music. No one cares about what Rashida's <laughs> really doing. <laughs> I felt for Rashida last year when she was getting hurt and played and all that. But it's like, girl, are you still with him? Now I don't care. Yeah. At this mm-hmm. point. Yeah. It's funny you say nobody cares about our music and then they put that clip on. And I'm like, damn, Rashida, that's that terrible. That done just was <laughs> That's just bad. It's like, not, I really don't want to hear it now. Like, certain things, okay, you can rap about, but, like, your real, real problems, like, girl, just put that to yourself. Because, obviously, like, it's just too much tea. She, right. was, <laughs> like, <laughs> she was sleep in the boot. Like, like girl, uh, you about to cry. Like, right. this is why you need to make other songs. Like, not can about Michelle really do happening. that? Right. Well, she just needs to stop rapping because, I mean, clearly. I mean... But nobody want to hear them struggle. What was she right rapping now, about? I have no idea. She was like, yeah, he want me all the time now. But he and don't you want gotta you. be on the grind now. Like, Miss Rashida. Like, no, it was ABC. The 90s are over, hey. Rashida. We don't even rhyme like I'm that no more. Like, okay. Oh, salt and pepper, push it <laughs> And rhymes. I really try to root for Rashida because, you know, they keep talking about every season. Like, you know, I'm the breadwinner here. Like, bitch. The, I can only name one Rashida song, and it is Bubblegum. And that I was in high school, and not to give my age away, but. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I don't think she's getting though. any residuals she from has I'm Bossy. Right. Com. And what the is, hood what is chicks, that? the hood chicks do be buying clothes off. It's a little like oh, a clothes I'm bossy. Stuff. So it's like a step well, up I'm from bossy. an Instagram com. boutique. Mm hmm. The hood oh, chicks Lord. be on there. Shade. <laughs> it has like all that gold jewelry, like boss bitch, or like Pinterest. earrings with like. Oh, let me. What's, bad that, what's that called? Bitch. Let me go there. Right. <laughs> I'm bossy. Dot com. Gold pieces. Oh, I, hey, you know what I mean? I think we all should purchase something and just put, you know, put a little change in Rashid's pocket. Y'all in that by yourself. <laughs> I was, you I was actually on a, I was on, bossy. I was on Kirk's sides, boss. <laughs> <laughs> I you felt- gotta be a boss to wear some shit that says boss. <laughs> Wait, did you guys just hear him? He said he was on Kirk's side. I was on Kirk's side. Tonight? I was feeling Kirk because he did ask a pertinent question. She always talking about Kirk, you acting like you sang on you. Nah, 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 nah. Right, right, right. That's Rashida. Uh, <laughs> that's my impression. Okay. <laughs> and Kirk said, you about to get Where's angry. your ring? Oh, that's and why she you was like, him? Well, where's her ring? It's in the motherfucking draw because the bit his motherfucking ass was in other bitches' drawers. Right. So okay. my ring ain't going on my damn finger until I feel like you are my motherfucking husband again. If talking she, about looking at DNA tests, talking about the papers are in the mail. Like she don't know that though. If she trying to be wife, but come the fuck where the on, ring? Stuff on. This it's is motherfucking two thousand and fourteen. Disguise. That's his Adam's apple. Right. That's where the ring is. Okay. He's he swallowed the ring. <laughs> It's in his It's right here. And he over here. But but why he had to eat the whole box, too? The ring box, too. The square box. And he said, you need to be acting like a wife and a girlfriend. Oh, 
Oh, I get that. You need to see acting like a husband straight up to the fact uh, well, I don't give Jasmine, a fuck. Jasmine, 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 um, Aladdin, sit your bitch, fucking ass right. down. Like, uh, well, maybe Kirk, Kirk is being neglected. I'm just saying. Maybe he is because he's damn put that damn he fucking deserves, dirty dick in the whores. He didn't hit Bambi. Neglected. He just looked at it. The Bambi. No, he didn't hit Mar- him. Bambi. He hit damn Mary Jane. That bitch can't even she get a spot bad. on the show. Yeah, too bright. She was a little dirty. For Her show got canceled. The mistresses of Atlanta. Oh, they did um, have can you read her title again? Rashida huh? can't act can you read the like title the, uh, again what? of her show? Mistresses of Atlanta. And these woman. are just the women we're talking about. <laughs> Kirk is a woman. Okay. Imagine right. the men that this man is fucking. Uh oh, oh. Just oh, saying. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, okay. Where the sloppy. 50,000 says. I mean, yeah. yeah let me, okay, I'll step Sex. down. All right. But I'll that's, step down. That's <laughs> where her ring is. Okay. And in the drawer. Where the diseases come from. Right. So, <laughs> it's probably being disinfected. So, right. so instead of having As a fraternity, fraternity test, he should have been taking right, the HIV. Right, the, the okay. test. Okay. Uh, okay. Yeah. He should have been taking the pink pill to get rid of that motherfucking syphilis. Oh, the pink pill. Thank okay, you. I think we're giving Kurt a little too much benefit of the doubt. Ain't nobody checking for him. Ain't nobody sleeping with him with Mary Jane and them types. So, I told you, well, there's only five straight it. dudes in Atlanta. Kirk is still getting some. No, we giving Kirk too much benefit of the doubt. <laughs> you know what? I feel you, though. There you know ain't saying? a lot of straight when, dudes in Atlanta. When there ain't none, it's like, oh, well, we gotta Right, go. but I don't, I'm still questioning if he's straight. That's true. But he's on a TV show, so that counts as something. I mean, look at all the pussy Nico's getting now all of a sudden. Oh, oh, shit, I might as well get on a reality show. I'll just be a motherfucking straight man. <laughs> <laughs> on that note, we want to shoot too. Make sure you guys check out Maria Menounos' The Every Girl's Guide to Diet and Fitness. Boop. Hey guys, Maria Menounos here, and I want to share my newest book, The Every Girl's Guide to Diet and Fitness with you. Basically, every woman always stops me and asks me how I lost 40 pounds. So I decided to put it all in one book. Everything I did to lose 40 pounds step by step and how you can too is in here. I did it with no time, no money and no willpower and now I'm gonna show you how to do it too. You can pre-order it on Amazon, Barnes and Noble, Target, Walmart, wherever books are sold and it's out June 3rd. So I hope you guys love it. I hope it helps you in your weight loss journey and please, please tweet me and update me on your progress at Maria Menounos. Thanks. So there you guys go. If you guys want to lose some weight for this summer, make sure you guys pre-order Maria Menounos's The Every Girl's Guide to Diet and Fitness. Ah, so yeah, Rashida, wah, wah, bye, Felicia. <laughs> um, let's talk about Tammy and Waka. Thank Their you. relationship's cute. It just seems real. Legit. You know what I mean? Like, the fact that Waka's just so chill as fuck, like, you know, it's so real. Like, he's just like, whatever give me a kiss bye like after like you know what i'm saying she's like going in he obviously is not feeding into it. he's like a real dude about everything yeah. so and i fuck with that tammy yeah. told him uh kind of about the situation with jocelyn and his reaction was kind of like at first like she said what do you he looked like right. he was gonna slap the dog am i gonna have to flock on her yeah, face he, was gonna slap jocelyn. he said one whole sentence that was like he said oh, boop <laughs> Uh, one thing I heard is hoes praise rings, women praise situations. Mm-hmm. Boop. I love that. Okay. That was real cute. Yeah. Walker. Yeah. Real cute. You said that without even knowing you said that. They got like that, uh, that cool young relationship. Like they, yeah. they seem like they're the younger group yeah. of everybody. So it's nice. It's budding. It's a budding romance. Mm-hmm. Well, Waka. Good for them. And Flocka. Um, we only understand 50% of what he said. Yeah, they right. had subtitles for us. That yeah. was nice. <laughs> okay, but can that we get them for damn Jocelyn? Yeah, because I don't can't know what she said. That. I She's wrote saying. down Literally. on my notes. I said, what do Jocelyn be saying? Yeah, at the dinner <laughs> table, right, with Stevie? Yes, that's what I, I literally down. did not know the first 10 minutes and as all to just, what it's was like going on. Her mouth is just like, I'm not saying. I'm like... Okay, like, whatever she said was obviously probably shade or something. <laughs> but all that comes out of her mouth, reading bitches for fell. I love her. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's start from the beginning, though. So Benzino mm. sits down because this whole, you know, Mimi and Don want to prove this marriage a fake. So Benzino sits Mimi, Don, and Stevie J down. Mimi's pretending like she doesn't have any feelings towards this, and she's just worried about what? the reputation uh, of, of Benzino's the mag- yeah, magazine. Yeah. You know? <laughs> Bitch, you look thirsty. She and Dawn is. looks thirstier, Y'all trying to get desperate. you as a client. Like, 
first of all, not only are you sloppy seconds because now Jocelyn done taken your man, married your man, mm. and but now you want her assistant. Her, you want her <laughs> stripper assistant to run your career. Girl, what is going through your head, Mimi? You have some issues. You really have some problems. Can we and I can't help you with that because no one's that crazy. Can we all do the Mimi serious face when she's trying to do business? <laughs> and, like, girl, don't be trying to dress all sophisticated now just because you have this porn thing out. What are you going to do? Library? I'm just like, and don't. Routine with yeah, your man when you're home. On. Like, you're on a national dirty television library. Like, show. You don't dye about? your your fucking weave yourself. <laughs> yeah. Now, Mimi. I think something's wrong with anything. her. Mm. Like, you can't be this naive about everything. You can't be naive to think that somebody stole the camera because Nico checked the bag. I don't even check my cell phone charger. He did not check a bag and it got stolen. You cannot <laughs> be this naive to think that all of this is just happening yeah. the way it is. And now... <laughs> You think anybody besides you cares that Jocelyn and Stevie are not married, and it's in Hip Hop Weekly. Yeah. Who gives a crap? Because now yeah. you're yeah. talking about this damn marriage. If they're not married, it's just going to cause a bigger story, and right. you just gave them more publicity. More publicity. My thing is, is like, why the fuck do you care? That's <laughs> she, that's like the main thing. Well, why? I have a theory. I have a theory on Mimi and Don. Oh, okay. I, I think that they um, this is a struggle to stay relevant. Mimi's Mimi now you done put doesn't a sex tape up. <laughs> right. like, the struggle is real. She don't have Stevie J, who is who is the obvious hero of the last Love and Hip Hop Atlanta se uh, season, mm -hmm. you know. So she don't have him anymore. She can't build off that. She don't have the drama that comes with him. You know, he makes things happen. He even calls them the Jordans now. You know what I'm saying? So. Yeah, he, he totally just he makes old it happen. hags. Like, he's yeah. like, these old hags are nothing. Like. I love it. I love it. So she's struggling to stay relevant, and and uh, Tammy's, like, clamoring on to anything, anything that could possibly, maybe, mm -hmm. she maybe. hoping. Right. She ran a pimp game to Mimi. She was like, look, girl, now Vanessa about Williams. Don. Oh, Don, Don. Yeah, Don. I'm sorry. I started talking about. But Tammy, she's holding on to, to walk his dread like. <laughs> Don't leave me walking. Don't leave me. You. Jocelyn's an L. No, but Don is. I mean, I I credit Don because coming from the strip club, having being the only one with credit, she you know because somehow they had credit, they had to, they had to rent those. You got four episodes on a reality show. Good job. Yeah, yeah. Don about her business, Listen. and they let her manage careers. Yeah, Don about she, her business because the <laughs> fact that she made it to this careers point. Is, careers is a, <laughs> that was a, a loose word to use. Yeah, a little bit. I, I out of all of them. These reality Don guys. has a vendetta <laughs> against Stevie and Jocelyn because they be trying to play her. So for her, I see why she's going for blood. Like I see why she's like, they ain't married. Shut this, shut this down. Mimi, go home. No. Where's your cleaning company? Don't you got a kid? Who got the kid? Don't you, oh, don't you okay. got an anniversary? You, don't you want to prove that you can keep your child? Like, yeah. I don't, they, you sitting up here, damn, doing a Crayola again, job on I'm your like, weed. I do not see why they don't have their. I mean, I know why they don't have their daughter on TV. If I was their daughter, I would not want to be on TV. Oh, They're yeah. not wanting anybody to know that I'm the kid of these two. Oh, don't Crazy worry, because the kids at school gonna have this porn queued up whenever the queued little baby starts talking shit, That's and they're gonna be like, "How'd your mom do that pull up this? again?" Oh, Ain't this your mama though? Yeah. Right. Ain't this your mama have though? A up. No, but you know all the little girls are like, but with Nico. <laughs> Right. But with Nico, though? They're talking about with Nico in preschool. Nico. Oh, the badger. <laughs> Nico, Nico the badger. Nico looked like he don't wash his sheets. Oh, I no. can't. His face. <laughs> Nico his looked like he skin. don't brush his teeth. Like, like his do-rag like thing. He looked like his do-rag right. like, thing. Like, yeah, he looked like his do-rag like, thing. Nigga, wash your do-rag, Like, oh. Mm. He's no, so he distracting. Just looks like everything's staying. Like you just like he walks by you and you, he just staying. It's just you your your lips yeah, get it's tart. Just like, like Nico look like he's sleeping. So how did you like, smell make my lips care my lips. Right. I can't. He like he sleep you on a twin bed. You made my breast thing. You made you made my breast. <laughs> he look thing. he look <laughs> like he sleep on a bed with no sheets and it's uh, just no, a little No, he look, he sleep on the on the twin. <laughs> on the terrible. twin bed. He's sleeping on the twin. You know what's the worst when he look like him and Peter Guns are cousins. Right. Honestly, they could Definitely Walk around on that bitch's Tammy's damn They were probably roommates at one point. <laughs> no, Nico looked like he vacuumed his floor with a Swiffer. Like, bitch, you know, like Nico looked like he vacuumed with his teeth. No, he didn't. He didn't even vacuum with nothing, honey. <laughs> he had the first the Swiffer carpet. that just couldn't even vacuum up. It just swifts. 
<laughs> that motherfucker don't got a swivel. That motherfucker got a t-shirt and a stick. You know what? That oh, yes. Lord. He got a old freak oh, neck okay. t-shirt that he mopped. Right. He made his own Mind you. back in the day. Freak neck. And I guarantee him. you the shirt is Mimi's. This is okay. us going in on Nico right now. We just going in. Right. But he so, do look like he don't wash his face, and that's the happy worst thing. Two years, and you know you what? Can't stand a man that don't wash his one face. Like, or a happy one year, and you know what? I want to do this more than just breakfast in bed. Let's have a party and let's have a magazine cover. Um, I'm sorry, not with a dollar store turkey bacon sitting on right. here. Like, what the <laughs> fuck is this one and two? Why are you sitting on the opposite side of the bed of me? Like, I love how it's like I don't. Was so like posed, you're modeling, like, like <laughs> are you comfortable? Okay, O'Shea. Right. Mind you, O'Shea ain't made an appearance right, since, since then, the credit card he needed fraud. To be, yeah. Yeah. He needed to be cut after that. That's embarrassing. I found his Instagram though. I like how Nico's acting as if it. he don't. He didn't have an agenda. He sat around. And he was like, "Okay, you like the breakfast? Think we should celebrate? We should have a party? I think, I think maybe we should call Benzino and like that. Like yeah, it just came he's to looking him. for money. It didn't even come to him. He I know he, he had an like, agenda the whole time. The only way I'm gonna have a party is if someone covers it because I'm not trying to have no party. I'm trying. He's just trying to find the next move for everything. I think, it's just I so think, annoying. He's such a fucker. Like, I, I love that when she said, uh, uh, "Don wants to wants to manage me." He was like. Yeah, yeah. That's a good idea. That's yeah. exactly what I was thinking. We I mean, be I mean, the world's best porn star. Oh my God, he's Nico psycho. Think he I'm gonna be raging. Yeah. No, he think he the next Mister Mark. <laughs> he can't even mess with Ray yeah. No, like I said, he think he Brian Pumper. Oh, he Brian said that's good. That's Dumper, good. In his broke down, cool. driving around Hollywood, mm -hmm. motherfucking Brian Honda Pumper Accord. Popping up. He don't even got a damn Accord. He work at an LA Fitness in Studio City, by the way. No, and he be hitting on every. Bitch, if you damn got a pussy or smell like fish, he will hit on you. You yeah. don't even got to be a girl if you just smell like vagina. <laughs> Thank goodness I don't go to that gym. <laughs> <laughs> right, no one's trying to meet him. I was like, I can't sit on this bench because you, um, syphilis. Can huh? we talk? Right, right, and it's contagious. But so speaking of syphilis, so Dawn offered Mimi um, she to help brand her like Vanessa Williams. <laughs> About to First of all, compare. Vanessa Williams didn't come out with a sex shit. Right, and Vanessa and Williams Vanessa is Vanessa. Williams. Yeah, right, Vanessa Williams. Yeah. Okay, like how are you comparing Mimi? Right, like Vanessa Williams has you Broadway Mimi plays, has like albums, has TV shows, movies. Right. She should cuss everybody involved <laughs> with Love and Hip Hop right. all the way out. <laughs> right. Like all producers, of them. writers, like, everybody. Bitch, I'm not Kenya Moore. <laughs> Like how dare like, you? you can bring that bitch for real. Name up. Right. Don't bring my name up. This yeah. is me. Do you know who I am? Matter of oh, fact, shut all this down. Kenya, yeah. Hi, Golden Globes for days. Like, what's your name? Oh, oh. poor <gasps> Vanessa. What did you get? A Woody Award? <laughs> oh, they got a Razzie. What is there? <laughs> Rotten no, Tomato. <laughs> So but she's so <laughs> and that is where love and hip hop got Vanessa Williams <laughs> fucked up. <Right>. Okay. <laughs> okay. And I don't even like Vanessa Williams. Oh. Right. But I'm just saying. I okay. like Vanessa. I like Vanessa. Save the I mean, best I for last. Really. She cute, uh, man. She, she cute. used to be she's hot nice back old. in the day too. She cute for all. Old, old, old green old. eyes, girl. You know I used to have that picture on my wall. So Mimi <laughs> is okay. is so obsessed with Dawn now. She wants her to throw this party. Yeah. She trusts her. That's because they Arian be using that word Erica very the loosely. Curve. Trust, Who? trust, trust. Arian and Erica kicked her to the curb. I mean, she had this is it. Arian was like, "Oh, you still fuck with that motherfucker? This, this, is, this is all she has. This is her last stop. Arian, no friends in the in this zone. That's the crazy part. You know, Arian's a real bitch. She ain't fucking yeah. with me. She oh, Arian ain't a real bitch though. I know some tea, but yeah. Yeah. Well, okay. Arian. But I'm talking about she could really just be using platform just to be on TV, and she ain't. That's what I'm talking about. Trying to be still all up in the tea. Well, um, it could, or they just don't think she's entertaining enough. Okay, well that too. <laughs> I love yeah, Dawn's yeah. pimp game. She said, "Maybe we got to look at the bright side. This is a business opportunity." She, no, like I mean, she's talking game. like she is fucking Nico. Pimp on the, <gasps> I believe her and Nico were. This is a young jock situation, and Mimi Gumby, Carly Red. Now nah, listen, that Dawn might be. She might be an stripper, but I don't think Dawn would. Be oh, she deal would never. Nico. I think, she, I think her and Nico at, is in cahoots. Mm, nope, she's no. laughing at Mimi for even fucking with I don't Nico. Think okay. she she's like, honey, I get paid to fuck men like that. that look like that. Have like, you seen Nico? <laughs> right. Like, yeah. you, child, do we need to go back into that have conversation? You seen Nico? Do we need to talk about the algae? Nico out here looking Nancy. like the uh, the mouse that transformed the Ninja Turtles into the Kung Fu Masters that we are. Splinter, splinter. 
He <laughs> looking like he looking like the scarfish from Nemo's tank. Master Splinter. I can't. Master Splinter. I can't. Nico. I love it. I can't. Oh lord. Oh my oh. god. All right. So then we get Stevie J, Benzino, and it's this hip hop spread for uh, Hip Hop Weekly with Jocelyn. They always got a photo shoot. It's a trip. I'm just like. <laughs> Did Nicki Minaj copy this outfit for her Pills and Potions right. mm. uh, co- album and cover? Because literally it was the same outfit. It was the bunny ears with the booty out. Hmm. Well, Nicki's defense, that she probably hadn't seen the photos until we seen them today. True. That is true. I mean, so, in Nicki's you know. defense, it's Nicki Minaj. And it's Nicki Minaj. So. But she does watch Love and Hip Hop. She does, so she's probably looking at that like... Oh, Shout right. out to Nicki Minaj, right. then shoot if she watching and watch the after show. Yeah. She has she hip-hop. gets paid to watch Love and Hip Hop and tweet about it. Okay, because the mixed Moscato <laughs> is on there too. I love that they they try to back my man Stevie Jedi into a corner, talking about the marriage is a fraud. This, that, and the third. These old hags. He said I'm a so- he, he said I'm sovereign. <laughs> I can't with Stevie. So I look sovereign up. But why did none of the women know what that? They were like, oh, yeah, can you even spell it, bitch? Do you know what it means? <laughs> they were stuck. They were stuck. They right. was like, this dude is so. Oh, shoot. He's something we don't even know about. Stevie <laughs> learned that two days ago. Don't sleep on him, though. Benzino told him to say yeah, that. Yeah, right. uh, he learned that two if, days if ago. If shit gets tough, just throw that out there. He was like, yeah, now we sovereign. <laughs> so being sovereign is like uh, royalty. You are You are excused. From all rules and regulations, that I love that Stevie would even his mind works in a way. Man, I'm a fan. It works <laughs> like the I'm other. Sovereign. It works like the other crackhead on the show, Mama D. <laughs> uh huh. Wait, but speaking of crackheads, they do need a little guidance, and I know just the place Who? that'll help them: California Psychics. Huh? So tomorrow starts today. Career, money, relationships, and love. We have so many big decisions in life. Isn't it worth it to have your own personal advisors yes. giving you the peace of mind and confidence that mm-hmm. you're on the right path? Lord, I need talking about that. Mm-hmm. Right. Right. Well, you need to call California Psychics at 1-800-PREDICT or go to CaliforniaPsychics.com to speak to someone to help you give the direction you've been looking for, whether it's a big decision, scary. something personal. <laughs> you need to know now, maybe having doubts about that next step in life. CaliforniaPsychics.com is only a one dollar a minute for new customers. One dollar. Love and have up in Atlanta and a dollar is TV a dollar. Does not well, but a... call one eight hundred predict now before you make that financial leap. Visit CaliforniaPsychics.com before you miss your opportunity on Mr. Right. Tomorrow starts today with CaliforniaPsychics.com. I wish a psychic could right. really help my life. Oh, girl, trust me, they will. Because <laughs> let me tell y'all, bitch, it's just you see how we read in love and hip hop. If you need someone to read your life or fill, y'all better. Called motherfucking California psychics. <laughs> Boop. If it works for you, then do it. Yeah. And it worked for me. Um, <laughs> all right, Tammy and Jocelyn sit down because Jocelyn's mad because she done heard in the streets mm-hmm. that Tammy told Mimi about this photo shoot. So they sit down, and this was, I loved this moment because it was just a little deer. They had no, no idea what it was getting involved. Right. The, the Tasmanian the devil. <laughs> just deer in the headlights, just like... Jocelyn came shitting with her gold little blouse. No, that it. was the Nicki Minaj for Kmart. That's fine. She was still shitting. <laughs> she was still sitting shitting on little Walmart Tammy, right. sitting there like, oh, oh, poor, Tammy. poor Tammy. It's her first season. Yeah. She a newbie. But I like Tammy. I'm, yeah. not, I'm just shitting. Good I'm girl, just saying. Right. But... I'm just saying, in this, this was a battle right here. And at the end of the day, Tammy was right, yeah. but Jocelyn won. You know what? I don't I have a problem with Jocelyn. And I don't like dislike a lot of people, but I dislike Jocelyn because she preys on people who are smaller than her, but she doesn't stand up when people are mm-hmm. bigger around her. Because y'all remember when Kate Michelle was around, Jocelyn was little Miss Butterfly. Oh, jo- oh Kate Michelle, we can be good friends to the end. <laughs> she don't buck up <laughs> against people that are squasher. But when it comes to like Tammy and people who, you know, they're just normal people. She always feel like she got a pounce on them, and I don't like that. She's a bully. I don't like it, and Jocelyn needs to slow down. That's why she looked 45 in the face. Slow she down. only like 25. <laughs> I can't deal with it. Is she in her 20s? Oh, yeah. Yes, Jocelyn is in her 20s. Man. Really? I don't believe that. Jedi got of a young filly. 
No, then she like twenty three. I legit. <laughs> she doesn't. She's no. like twenty three. Really? We gotta look Honestly, that up because I don't think she's. Like I would young. say she's probably like thirty four. Right? She's like right. She's not in her thirties. If she's in her twenties, she's at least twenty seven, okay. twenty eight. There's she, no. I think she's, she's legit in her thirties, and like you know the whole Hollywood like. Mm-hmm. I'm sure it's real easy for Jocelyn to lose some papers. I'm going to tell you why yeah. she's in her, I believe she's in her 20s. Because when you live a hard life like that, you age like your life. Uh-huh. Well, mm. but she's been living Then I can't imagine really what her vagina looks like. Right. Mm. Salami or... Uh, <laughs> oh, what? Uh, it's looking like the sewer hole that Nico came out. Roast beef. Yes, he did. What is it? I pastrami. Can't. Oh, my God. <laughs> Our Arby sandwich. It doesn't even look she like roast like beef. beef it looks like pastrami. With Arby sauce on the side. Oh, man. I'm never eating Arby's again. I actually <laughs> like the line, even though it fell on deaf ears, because Jocelyn was, had already made her move, sex with chocolate, I'm out. She dropped the mic and was she gone. <laughs> and it was too late. But, but <laughs> cute little Tammy said, you went from a stripper to a prostitute to a hoe. I just thought that was funny. Yeah. I thought it was funny. I mean, but I she, actually I see exactly what she's saying, though. Yeah. Jocelyn went from being a stripper. Now, at least a stripper, you're working hard for your money. You know, you got to go to work. You have to go to an establishment. She went from a stripper to a what? Prostitute. prostitute. To a prostitute. So she was like, you know what? I don't want to work for the man. I want to work for myself. So yep. then she said, I'm going to take it to the street. So then she's whoring herself out. You know, she's still working, though. But now she was just like, you know what? I don't even want to be on the street. Yeah. Let me just find some dick that will pay for me. So now you just <laughs> Full a time. hoe. But just a hoe. A I see what she's saying. A hoe wife. In regards to her birthday, it says anything from 26, 27, 28, and 34. Right. So the bitch is 34. Wow. Yeah. She 25 She's 34. Like that. You see her wow. face? Girl. Wow. Ladies listening, if you be living that hard life, <laughs> you want to party all every day of the week, don't get no sleep, you drink and smoke, what you put in your body shows up on the outside. So if you keep doing like Jocelyn, you're going to be looking old as hell in the face. And if you Trust guys want, me. you guys can take egg white and coffee grinds in the morning, rub it on your face face for 10 minutes it'll give you an instant botox and pull you right up or how about you just get in the bed at night okay well you can i mean get in the jocelyn's bed. doing that I think, she, she needs practice her night. stripper moves both of those are good advice <laughs> that's good advice <laughs> okay so okay yes you know tammy came with the hoe the prostitute the slut comment but it's like I that know, doesn't even affect her at this point. It's like, okay, bitch, yeah, like, we and get it. I dance for it. money. She really doesn't give a fuck. Like, let's find out your secrets, too. Mm-hmm. Right. Little Miss Oh, it's going to come I'm out. I'm sure there's it's gonna some come secret. Right. Waka, you were mad at Waka one night. Mm-hmm. Come on, Miss. Right. And then went, went over to Kirk's city, house. No. <laughs> <laughs> went over to Kirk's house. Kirk didn't want her. He Kirk was like, what Waka doing? So Jocelyn ends the conversation by saying, Where he at? Right, where Waka at? I really like his dreads. <laughs> Jocelyn says so if you had a problem with me then why didn't you say it if you had a problem with me why'd you have to go talk to your friends like I'm saying right. you had to go talk to your people about it and I get what Tammy was saying she was like I had to see if it was really shade and I get that Yeah. but a real bitch honestly come on K. Michelle it was in that situation she would have said like oh, boo boo I'm fine with my with my tattoo because I have the papers to prove. What do you have to prove? Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? I feel like if Tammy was a real, you know, oh, you going to see who I really am. Right. Mm. And I feel like she would have clocked her right there. Exactly. And she did and it. And so I see where Jocelyn's coming from. Like, you know, like you went and had to talk to your little friends about it before coming to me. And so now we're here and now we're not going to be friends. Well, well I'm I, never going to agree with Jocelyn on that situation. Because if, if you're not a pop off at the mouth type person... You that's not how you do. You right. you go back, you sit there, well, I you get sit why in Joss, it. You Joss process it. Yeah, you process it. Especially if you in somebody's house. Rule number one, if you in the house, somebody house like Jocelyn, you don't pop back and forth in the mouth on somebody in their own home. You leave because she could pull the blade out. Like you don't know these people. <laughs> right. She a hood rat. <laughs> she have a gun. She's a hood rat. Yeah. You don't you don't you wait till you step outside, then you like, let me see what this bitch just said about yeah, me. Yeah, yeah. Then you come back. But <laughs> Did she just say oh, yeah. my, my marriage is fake? I don't yeah. know. I feel like Tammy in that moment could have been like, Whoa, I feel like you're like yeah. coming at me like what do you mean, like, my my tattoo? Because like, to Jocelyn, like, it's probably, like, you know, she, that's her way of joking, maybe? Or that's her way joking, of, like, like, just being, like, I don't know. People like Jocelyn, Jocelyn, Jocelyn in something. Jocelyn's head, that's not real. That's not, like, like he said, hoes praise a ring. Like, yeah. that's what she thinks. You know, you need that ring. Like, right. no, bitch. Like, let me tell you what real love is. Real love is when my man comes in and says, oh, we don't have to fuck tonight. 
<laughs> right. I, real love is that I don't have to dress like a fucking Barbie prostitute every single day every to day, keep my man all day. <laughs> no, I, I think I think Tammy could have said a little something, you know, but uh, I also think she's a freshman. She's new. Yeah. No, I know. So yeah. she was kind of like, uh, "How do I act in this?" I don't think it'll happen to her again. But I feel like I want to see her versus Baby Bob. Yeah. What's her name? I don't Tracy. Know. I've been. been done with Tracy. She's <laughs> irrelevant. Tammy's making me miss Tracy, though. I miss a little bit of that crazy. I don't. <laughs> Tammy's so cute to me. She's, She's just very cute, cute little, girl. little something, little yeah. morsel. All right, let's talk <laughs> about some. Uh... You, you started off on my Mama D, even though I'm gonna have to divorce Mama D. Well, she, we're gonna talk about Mama D right now. Let's she, get into she it. She off her meds a little bit, man. It's getting crazy. <laughs> Mama D sits down because Scrappy is in South Beach. She sits down with Erica P. And, you know, they're talking about the situation, why things went down like that. Between uh, the picket and the Bambi. Erica says, you know, I think Scrappy needs to check the Bambi. Mm hmm. Mama D has established her name as the, the Bambi. Bambi. That's mm -hmm. awesome. Um, because I don't think he really knows her Carfax record. I, don't, I can't believe she said Carfax. Oh, I loved it. The shout out to Carfax is a trip. <laughs> Carfax Erica. Papers, if it's a savage or not. But real quick on the name Erica, I think. That's so funny. I, think, like, I, I was look saying the earlier. Bambi and it says salvage title. <laughs> She's a train wreck. Damage. <laughs> First fucked in 1991. <laughs> Several owners. Yeah, I, I, several I was, owners. I was gonna go to a dark place with that. Yeah, there's no several way. owners <laughs> damaged. The wheels don't work. Right. <laughs> the rims, Sorry, the, the car is bad. no longer certified. Right. Spark and plugs get blown fixed, on so. this thing. We might give you four hundred bucks for it. Yeah, mm. that's tough. Mm. Um. No, what were you saying about Erica? No, I was saying that Erica. You can't have two Ericas on a show. Uh, and we were saying earlier how uh, the other Erica. Who is she messing with to do with the bad credit? O'Shea. 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 I feel like they might be moving her on out. O'Shea blew it, and now yeah, we already got a new Erica. It, right. It's like, thanks, Erica. I, I mean, if she's is smart. Too, yeah, <laughs> it's too much drama for her. Erica could play this the whole situation. She could have did a little more with this publicity, especially since she wasn't like the one of the, the show hood rats. You know yeah. what I mean? She could kind of just phase out and... Do Going something. And do something yeah, else in life. do something. Yeah. Open up a, a restaurant. I don't know. Like a kids' clothing line on yeah, Instagram something. or something. You know. Mm. <laughs> kids, Instagram clothes. clothes. But Mama D is psycho. Mama D is psycho, but I love her. Um, Erica is showing her these texts that Scrappy's sending to mm -hmm. her. Scrappy talking all this like, oh, why do you think it's like that? But now we know why the candles were there. You got to know if you right. I want to sex you down. Oh, man. And she and Erica, yeah, you little gangster. She wrote, wrong friend. Mm -hmm. She really was really pushing Scrappy. She ain't going to let But if you read it, he, the on. next text was, no, right. He spelled right, R-I-T-E. Well, this is I he, mean, that's know, the he, least of my issues with Scrappy. I'm sleep. <laughs> Scrappy, I'm sleep. I'm sleep on your education. Yeah, he, I just, I can't. I don't know what to say to you. But she said, uh, his nose your son is a king messing with a peasant. She started talking Mama D language. Mama D liked that, too. She started talking that language. You know, this bitch knows how to talk on the throne. Right. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> she might be all right. All right. <laughs> now, how your um, eggs working, dear? <laughs> Because oh. you're about to get scrambled. <laughs> oh. I love that Mama D said, hashtag this bullshit. What is, what does she be talking about? I don't know, but I, it was <laughs> interesting in the part that Erica said, I would, I would really like to sit with Bambi and teach her how to be a lady. Oh, my goodness. Okay, Shanae. When Erica, you know, how just popped the table lady. up and right. started going after her. And going, going nuts. No. Erica's a trip. So Mama D thinks it's smart to sit Erica and Bambi down with each other. And Mama D says, let me control the situation. You know, Erica, I need you to understand Bambi's situation. I've had a miscarriage. Honestly, like, I get what Mama D was doing there. And if it really... I was into how she was doing it. But yeah. Obviously, it was that. dumb and it was no reason for these two women to ever right. meet each other. No. Never. Especially without Scrappy. But I was actually surprised that Mama D actually had some common sense to be able to sit these girls down and be like, look, I went through this situation. That's why you had, like, I was like. Let's be sensitive. Well, Let's have compassion. Like, 
she was trying to throw Scrappy under the bus. Who? Mama D. Because she kept saying, if you would listen to what she have to say, oh, yeah. you understand. So basically, she wanted Erica to say, Scrappy sent me these texts saying X, Y, Z to Bambi. And then Bambi was like, damn, he said this. Oh, shoot, that's my man. And Mama D like, yeah, Scrappy called. Like, it sounded like she was trying to throw him. Well, was basically just to get Bambi out of the situation. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's what it is. Like, bitch, like, you ain't the main chick. Right. Like, you know, like, yeah, yeah. He don't want shit. I agree with that. I agree with that. With your new little 18. Bambi not going yeah. nowhere. She, yeah. she, she got, got it up. She's trying to get these up on episodes. <laughs> She's not like, She had that shit straight. Her, okay, she, her hair was swinging today. Now yeah. we'll see what it looks like next week. Right. Bammy has said, I'm done like 30 times. She can't I'm lead done. a show. I'm done. I'm done. I'm, I'm over. done. I'm, I'm done. done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. But then you want to go sit down and talk to right. Randy. Right. Because oh, she was like, goodness. oh shit, I ain't going to get paid next week. I know. I need this check. You know, I got to fix them gears on my sister's bike. Mama D says, so shall it be written. So. I so, love her. What's it called? So she says, you know, and Bambi, you have to understand Erica's point of view. Bambi says she don't have a point of view. And mm. this bitch said, bye, bitch. Boop! And flipped the table up in her face. <laughs> and you saw her bite her bottom lip, too? She was... Oh, yeah. This this going, this going down. She was yeah. like, I'm going to make sure this shit knocks your face, bitch. <laughs> but ain't connect not one punch. Ain't none. When is Erica going to land a punch? Because well, she, she got stole on last week. Little, short little stocky arms. She'd be like... Eh. Like and she'd she be wearing like, tight clothes. Really like It's like, like, but she can't fight in those. Yeah, she didn't land not nothing. She was like... <laughs> but she had the red good. bottoms on. <laughs> oh, yeah, she did. I, they fell I, off. Right. I love the producers, though. they like, all right, get a shot of the red bottom. That, that <laughs> fell right out. Get that. Did y'all get that? You see I'm all like, the scrapes on the red bottom? How many other people was... How many other reality shows those red bottoms been on? Oh, <laughs> they sharing them. They passing them along. For real. Um, <laughs> Bambi within that says, I don't care about your son. Ooh. I know it's a heated argument and you, things just happen. You say what you say. But you never say that if you don't mean it. And you nope. never say that to Mama D. Sure. Any other mom would be able to be like, okay, you know, she was mad in the moment. Yeah. No. I mean, if you're, that's obviously, she really don't give a fuck about him. No. Yeah, she don't care about him. This, she's been on the that's Ray J saying, show. Right? She's been on the last one in the hot tub. She was on basketball. Yeah, she wide. don't give a fuck she about him. This. Like, how do you trust a girl that goes on national right. television and gets pregnant fuck. by someone just to be on national wait, 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 and then wait. Have... pregnant loose let's do the air quotes she <laughs> mm-hmm. i right. still don't believe right. well somewhat sort of fertilized on national television <laughs> yeah. she'd have been fertilized in the hair and the on her back uh <laughs> <laughs> ear but <laughs> i and doubt she was pregnant maybe that's why her hair looks so shiny today it was so and long it looked like it grew that right. weave was to the All right, so Mama D and Bambi yeah. sit down. Bambi feels betrayed. Mama D really wants Bambi to listen to Erica, like you were saying. And then basically at the end of this, Mama D ain't never going to like you ever again, Bambi, because mm-hmm. you done said Mama D is a problem starter. She doesn't have her own life. Oh, so boy. if Scrappy wants to be a mama's boy, he can go on and be a mama's boy. So basically Mama D and, and Bambi are going to fight at the reunion. That's Ooh. gonna be so good. I can't wait for I next do want to see Mama D come out of retirement. Next week's steal good. on a tick. I just can't Bomb. wait for the whole situation to go down next week. And now go with down that, in the Benzino's name of girl. Oh, on that note, let's head to production. Oh my god, that's gonna be so basically that bitch then fucked the whole crowd. Now <laughs> you're after Buzz TV. I'm still trying to figure out who she is and what she's saying. Well, it kinda don't matter Ooh. now now that they revealed that she slept with Nico because you gotta be a low son of a gun to get in the sheets with him. Mm. I can't. Have you seen why am I the only one? I get nauseous no, whenever no, Nico down, comes <laughs> onto the screen. Nico looked like he used the same washcloth he's been using for the last see, six months. He I like really he like ain't Age, changed his so like, towel in years. He like Ice Age. I've seen Ice Age is like my favorite movie, so I, you know he does I look can like that Nico. thing. What is that? What the was sloth. it? The sloth. The sloth. Um, all right, so we're gonna get Benzino wants to get married with his bitch again. Don't he, he always want to get engaged? He's just lonely. He's really well, he's lonely. 57. I, know, I mean, you really want him you wanna... That's what happens. He's yeah, lonely. you need somebody to be with. Benzino, go ahead, man. Come on. Isn't there a girl out there that just wants to put her neck out there for or him? just like normal, you know? I don't know. You don't pick the girl that was in them sheets with Nico. Like, I, I you, wait, didn't you, you hear Nico call? First of all, Nico, yeah, don't like, ever call anyone a leftover because you are, you look like leftovers. <laughs> Your <laughs> face literally looks like leftovers. It looks like crumbs. Right. <laughs> literally crumbs too. 
Chips right. Ahoy. Okay. <laughs> if Benzino can make this magazine <laughs> pop, though, Carly Rae will be right back. I'm just like, the yeah. magazine just needs to be like a horror magazine. Like, let's just own it. Let's be like the dirty Playboy. Like, just own it. If he did that, because at this point, it's like all the publicity for your magazine is you done got a prostitute marrying a pimp. You got <laughs> uh, Athena, who's a damn street whore. Run around. You got Nico and Mimi talking about they're gonna fucking be in hip hop. We like, what is this magazine? Right. Nothing. Basically, what you just can said. we just call it slut? Right. <laughs> uh, I. It would probably sell better. It probably would. Mistresses of Atlanta or Skeeves magazine. Ski. That domain name has already been purchased. Skis magazine. <laughs> Skis magazine. That <laughs> is where the money is. So, All right. So there, Benzine wants to get married. Nico said he used to fuck Athea and calls this bitch leftovers. And then said after he fucked her, she then went to Stevie, Stevie J. And well, now and she's fucking Benzino. See, because they were all on dinner together and he never spoke up. So Yeah. That's... I don't know. Do you believe it? I mean, I feel like Stevie would be like, Benzino, you know I fucked her one yeah. time. You know what I'm saying? Like, because that will ruin their friendship. Yo, sure. she ain't the one for you. Yeah. Right, that's right. exactly what. Mm-hmm. She's a gutter bitch. She um, should be ashamed that the, it came out that she slept with Nico. Like, if that came <laughs> out and I was on TV, deals off. Like, I would get my contract, I would look at the contract again and see if there was a loophole where I can get up out of it. Because you're not going to have me out here in public, people knowing that I had sex with Nico. Amina Butterfly is laughing at this bitch. She like, is. <laughs> but you know what that means? She's like, <laughs> oh my God, I hate you. You know what that means? That means there is new life that's coming to, uh, to Mimi. Because Mimi's man is in the mix. Mimi is going to still be on and, Nico's dick. And day. sit there like this. Right. So she's going to say, right. well, why are they saying you was with my man? Or something. Mimi going to be like, that was a long time ago. My man is reformed and changed now. No, and she, she going to say, oh, like, you, you, you can have that tired. She going to say something. She needs to be like, thank God. Like, 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 nobody is honey, dumber than me because you slept with him too. Your video is volume seven. <laughs> Have you seen him? I can't. Don't get me started again. <laughs> um, then we get Carly Red versus Athea. Athea, Athena, whatever the fuck her name is. How did Carly get looped into that? How I want to. I want to see what that got to do. What Carly? What they got to do Benzino. with you? Yeah, but Carly, what they got to do with you? They was gonna Where's get married. Where's Young Jock? They was gonna move in together. That's why she's Where's in the marriage. Where's Young Jock? Yeah. 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 She, yeah. she blew yeah. Young Jock. Yeah. She, yeah. It's blown. Yeah, she drove off with this car. That's blown, dog. I can't. She's like. Yeah. Booted. Uh, scrappy breaking up with Bambi looks like. Yeah. About damn Bye. time. And then we see. I'm kind of worried about this, but Jocelyn and Stevie might head to divorce. Oh, no. no. You can't divorce when you ain't. Stevie married. is too right. smart. What he did? Well, that's one. They ain't married. Yeah. But he put the ring down. And he said, "Listen, I'm gonna get my own place." Uh, he just utilized the leverage of whatever that argument was, so he could get his place. And have his life. No, the lease is up. Yeah, I was just about oh. to say, the co work. Lease is up on the rental house. <laughs> right. It's time to move out. And this is a great My segue. Bad. They were My like, bad. you guys said the photo shoot was I only the obvious. four days. It's been three weeks. <laughs> <laughs> it's a segue I to get the out obvious. of the rental property. <laughs> right. We got to get a Benz back and a crib. That was a package deal. <laughs> so, uh, back to the Honda Accord. Right. <laughs> you, can't, you can't lease the Benz anymore. <laughs> Yeah. All right. On that note, we want to thank you guys for tuning in. Make sure you guys hit us up at AfterBuzz TV on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. Also, make sure you guys pre-order Maria Menounos' The Every Girl's Guide to Diet and Fitness. You guys can tweet me at DJ Jesse J. Me at Canelia. Me at Sensei Don't Play. I am more fire. Until next week, same time, same place. Peace. From executive producers Maria Menounos, Kevin Undergaro, Phil Svitek, and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff, we would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV network. To watch or listen to other After shows and post comments or questions, be sure to visit AfterBuzzTV.com. I'm Sir Richard Wentworth, and this has been a presentation of AfterBuzz TV. Buzz you later! The views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principals. Thank you for watching AfterBuzz TV on YouTube. For more of your favorite after shows and interviews, subscribe to our channel here. And be sure to share your opinion on the episode in the comment section below here. We'd love to see what you guys are buzzing about. Thanks again. Buzz you later.